Have you ever wanted to plant a variety of crops, but you're limited by the amount of space you have? In this video, we take a tour of a small portion of a garden which utilizes principles that will help you. Welcome to the tour. This garden is mainly a banana plantation, and banana plants can grow up to 20 feet high, leaving the area below them free for planting other crops. You may not plant banana plants, but look around in your area. What plants do you have that grow high that can really provide you with extra space down? Among the plants in the plantation are cherry tomatoes. And these tomatoes are very hardy. Number one, they self seed. They grow by themselves and they do not need any care. But every now and then, they give you a harvest. So another principle right there, take advantage of foraging. If there are any things that you can harvest without growing them, take that advantage. By the way, I need to mention that at the time of recording this video, it was too hot. We were recording temperatures of up to 33 degrees Celsius, which is so hot in the tropics but the garden is still green even without irrigation over here is a young castor plant and it also grows really high this together with the bananas cast a partial shade on the ground and help the plantation to retain moisture even when it is so hot this is a young avocado tree and over there is a temporary shade for young turkey. Let me go closer to it. The shade is made of a simple mosquito net. And there is another principle right there. Utilize the things that you have in your garden. The hot chili. I don't know whether I can find some ripe ones, but most of them are still young. And besides the chili, is the turmeric plant. I can see it is flowering. Let me just bring the flower a bit closer. This flower is old. And then there is another flower. Talk about companion planting. Here below we have lemongrass. Just below the bananas. Over there I can see ginger. A lot of it. And I can see some flowers. Let me go closer. Ginger seems to be hiding its flowers down there, down there. The places that do not have plants at the moment are mulched with dry banana leaves. That's why when I step, you can hear the sound of the dry banana leaves. And this also contributes to the reason why moisture is retained in the ground. This passion fruit is surprisingly healthy in such a season as this. It is not supported anywhere, it is growing on the ground, but it has a lot of passion fruits. While we still enjoy this tour, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell such that the next time we upload a video, you do not miss out. This is a pomegranate tree. It has pomegranates. And it is still flowering. Let me also mention at this point that the plants that we have seen are on a garden which is around an eighth of an acre. And there are many herbs that I'm not mentioned 
that are still within this very garden. If you've learned anything from this video, please share with us in the comment section below. Until next time, God bless you.